Are high interest rates destroying the real estate market? In this video, I'm gonna talk about what you're hearing in the news and a lot of people have it directly on their mind. It's high interest rates, specifically how they are affecting the uh, real estate market and what you can do to combat them. Mortgage rates have went up almost 7% this year. That's the first time they've hit north of 7% in over 20 years. The reason we're seeing the increase is the Federal Reserve is increasing the interest rates to try to combat inflation. And this is making it increasingly harder for home buyers to purchase a home, especially in the first time home buyer market. From September to August, we see nearly 11% decline in new construction homes built and put on the market. And it's 17.6% decrease since this time last year. So we're seeing a big decrease in the amount of homes that are being built. We are already in a deficit of the homes that we need to sell. And even with the market going on right now, we're still primarily in a seller's market in my area of South Atlanta and most of the country, which means we have less than four to five to six months of inventory, which means houses are still selling fast. They're just not selling like they were. Economists love to say that the housing market is the business cycle. That's how they can dictate how strong the market is in general, because buying real estate is closely tied to the, the interest rates and the, the amount it costs to borrow money. It doesn't matter if it's for a house, it's for a car, or any other thing you're borrowing for. People are love to argue the fact that if we're in a recession or not. Uh, from the old historical definition of a recession, we're in one. From the new definition, what the government came out with a few, about a month ago, we are still not in a recession. But we have evidence that the economy is getting better in some parts, and we are seeing a decrease in other parts. One of the big parts that we're seeing a decrease in are, is consumers are buying less goods. So they're spending less money on things, which is a which is an indicator for the economy is worsening. The reason interest rates affect home buyers so much is because the higher the interest rate, it, it breaks it down inevitably. That is the higher the payment you're going to have because you have two things that dictate your payment. You have the amount you pay and the percentage of the money or the percentage of the interest on the amount that you borrow. The rising interest rates is not always a horrible thing. The market we just came from was a incinerating market. It was so hot, buyers were coming in, hedge funds, investors were coming in. We were overinflating the market because they were too few many houses and way too many buyers. So people were going above asking price and giving these ridiculous prices and terms, which is driving up the market. So when interest rates increase, we see less hedge funds, we see less investors, and then we see a lot of buyers get priced out of the market or priced from where they were looking. The person who, are, who was approved for a $400,000 home at 5% now can't afford a $400,000 home when interest rates hit seven. So one of the big benefits is there's less buyers in the market and now buyers can negotiate. We can negotiate on price, we can negotiate closing costs, we can negotiate terms. So even you're hearing all this negative language and talk about high interest rates, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing for some buyers. Because one thing that I know is I would rather dictate what I pay for the house and not let the market dictate it. So if I can negotiate the terms that I want and I have a higher interest rate, which is fine, because I, I know that the interest rate is going to go down eventually. Sooner or later, it's going to go down. So you hear the old adage, I will marry the house and I will date the rate. And what that means is I'm going to pick the house that I want, I'm going to negotiate the price, and the interest rate I'm given, I can go back and refinance. If I'm at 7% now, I can go back in three, five months, a year, and I can refinance it when it's back at five if it goes that way. Some people say that it's risky, but the people that I'm talking to, the people that I'm listening to, the, the economists that know way more than I do about this stuff is telling me that interest rates are going to have to go back down. And one of their big indicators is that the higher the interest rates go, the worse the economy gets. There's no politician who wants the market to crash on their watch. So they're gonna do what they have to do if they gotta create more money or they gotta decrease the interest rate, whatever they have to do to keep the flow of money going, they're probably going to do. And this is even a benefit for the sellers. And, and, and why I say this is because there's less homes on the, or there's getting more homes on the market. The market we just came from, anybody could sell their house. You could put it on the market at any condition, at any price, and it could sell. Now, with the market transitioning, the best prepared person is going to sell their house. Who has prepared their house to sell? Who has did the work on the inside? Who has did the work on the outside? Who hired the professional real estate agent to come in and market it, to do professional photos, to do the videos, that understands the type of marketing that's going to get a home sold? Not every seller is going to do that, and those are the, the sellers that our house is going to set on the market. If it's priced appropriately and marketed appropriately, a home will sell in any market. If you or someone you know is interested in buying, selling, or investing anywhere in Georgia, especially in the South Atlanta area or anywhere in the country, reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you myself. 
set you up with my team, or put you in with a true expert in the area that you're in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and remember, who you work with matters, and have a great day.